Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and this is going to be our first AngularJS tutorial. Now, in this video, we're just going to get started. We're going to set up a basic HTML page, and then we're going to have sort of the classic first Angular example by showing you two-way data binding, uh, which is something that if you haven't used Angular or a JavaScript front-end frameworks before, it's going to be really cool, and it's going to make you feel like, uh, as their tagline says, that you have superpowers, because it really allows you to do some cool stuff really quickly. So let's get going on that right now. So we're going to start with this basic HTML page. We really just have a doc type of HTML for HTML5 doc type. We have our standard HTML opening and closing. We have a body ahead and a title. Absolutely nothing here. In fact, if we come to Chrome, absolutely nothing. I'm actually just loading this file up based on the uh, the path. So I just uh, dragged this file from Finder onto my uh, browser. And future videos, we're probably gonna set up a server or something, a simple server with Python or something like that. However, for this particular example, we just wanna get started with some of the initial Angular magic right off the bat. Now, as a disclaimer, this data binding stuff is super cool and is a great way to get into the idea of using Angular because you can see how instantly powerful it is. And it might seem sort of magical while you're doing it. However, I should note that you can really dive into Angular really deeply and understand exactly what's going on and have complete control of your application. And Angular is good for more than just some sort of fancy data binding example. However, it's a great place to start off, so let's do that. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab a script tag. It's actually from the hosted Google scripts here. So I'll put a link or, uh, so I'll put the URL to the script into the uh, description of the video and you can grab it right from there. For me, I'm just going to paste it in here. And as you can see, it's going to load in just Angular version 1.3.15. At the recording of this video, this is the latest release. So now that we have this script, our website's going to be loading up Angular. Okay, so one thing with your Angular apps, what we need to do is sort of declare that this is going to be an application. So one way to do that is in our HTML tag, we can type ng hyphen app, like so. Okay, so now Angular is going to sort of recognize this HTML file as an Angular application. So let's go ahead and add a text input here. We can just say input, uh, and then it's going to be a type text. And now we're going to be using what's called a directive. Now this directive is going to be ng hyphen model. Now what directives do in Angular, it's essentially giving your application functionality. This particular uh, directive is sort of allowing you to store some data, right? So. Uh, once we get into more advanced Angular stuff, you'll be able to write your own directives and see why they're truly powerful. For now, we're mostly gonna be using directives that come within core Angular. So what we can say is ng hyphen model is equal to, and then let's give this a variable name. This instance is just going to be a name, uh, a person's name, right? So let's say your name is going to be the variable name that you're saving as this ng model. Okay, and in a placeholder, we can type placeholder and we can just give this a value of enter your name. Okay, so here we have this input and it's a type text. And what this does here by having this ng model here, when we type into this input without us having to do anything additional, it's going to be saving what we type as we type it into this variable your name. So for instance, we can come here and in an h1 tag like so, we can output this variable. And it's really easy to output this variable simply by saying bracket, 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 bracket. It's a tag in Angular that lets you know you're using some sort of Angular template uh, tag. For this instance, simply by outputting our variable name such as your name, like so, it's going to grab the contents of this variable and output it here. Now what's great about this is it's going to do this without us ever having to say go. As we type each character, it's just going to show up. So let's come back to our HTML here. As you can see, I've refreshed it. Let me zoom into the page so you can get a nice, and as I type in my name, I can just say 
S-C-O-T-T. And as you can see, as I type without doing anything, we didn't write a single line of JavaScript. Uh, we're getting this to uh, change the text here. So this works in all sorts of ways. In fact, you can even use these uh, template tags here. You can use these inside of HTML elements. For instance, uh, this is going to be using some inline styles here. Just for this example, we can say styles and style is going to be equal to, and we can say background and colon. Now, instead of a value here, we can give this bracket, 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 finished off with a semicolon. And inside of here, let's just throw in this your name, okay? And while this might not do anything off, uh, off the bat here, if we type in a hex value here, let's say pound three, three, or E, you'll notice this is instantly changing the background color and it's instantaneous. So we can say zero F, uh, F zero zero F. And as you can see, we have this neon, this teal color, and it changed while we were typing this. In fact, if we change any of these values, it's going to change once more. Let's actually change it to something usefully different here. There we go. So uh, you can see that instantly with this data binding, simply by just outputting this, we've now been able to do something like change the background color instantaneous as we're typing it and see that output on our screen. Now imagine trying to do this with something like jQuery as fast as we did it just now. Like I said, this data binding stuff is really sort of a wow example. However, this should give you an idea about just how powerful this stuff is out of the box. So over the course of the next few videos, we're gonna be building some cool applications. We're gonna be learning about all sorts of core directives within Angular. We're gonna learn how to work with data. We're gonna learn how to structure our applications. We're gonna learn how to use directives and importing directives that other people have written. And most importantly, you're going to feel really powerful with JavaScript. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.